Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Mario is most certainly not- Ow! Mario is most certainly not happy about me changing clothes, I've gotta say. By the way, I remembered I forgot a moon on top of the, uh, shiny dory over there. See that over there? Yeah! What you do is you do some fanciful moves on top of its hat using a gusher, if I, if I recall correctly. So I'm just gonna grab one of you buddies. And have a good time. But I need to go on top of your hats. Thus, oh no, maybe I just jump on top of it normally, or I, or maybe I just use you this way. Oh, that was a lot simpler than I remember. <laughs> Bonjour, Dory. Oh yeah, what do you guys have to say now that I cleared out this area? Oh right, I'm 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 frightening you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, it was just me though. Tunnel there is quite long, only a few- okay, that's the same dialogue as before. I have, I have. And it's a windmill, not a lighthouse, silly billy. Anyway, let's go around and see that higher area now. Because I hit that checkpoint down there and went all the way down and around below. So now we're going to go and wander around up here and see what the poop we can find. Maybe I'll even buy out some of the outfits over at the shop. Maybe, maybe. You know, I wanna kinda ooh, well. <laughs> well, no, actually I'll save it for when I wanna actually buy everything out with purple coins. Cause it's not that big of a deal if I don't get that moon over at the resort by buying the resort outfit and stuff like that right away. It's just you know, it's just there. <laughs> So I just kind of have a nice, fa fanciful running total of my current uh, coin count. Well, double coin count, I guess you could say. You know, purple coin count and gold coin count. You get what I was saying. And it's, uh, yeah. Just want to show you what I've got at all times, I guess. Shh, it's a shortcut. Perhaps I should have come in here with a fish. And that will be just fine. If I take a little damage, I take a little damage. <laughs> I should probably actually be doing this. Oop. Well, eh, details. Okay, so that was the hole that I was looking for in the last part um, that had a moon in it that I said, but I just didn't locate it. It was, of course, by the timer challenge. I just can't stop finding. And <laughs> so, yeah, that's a nice way to get a starting location looking for it, I suppose. And I'll refill my air there. And I'm, uh, maybe I should have grabbed that fish. It's a little bit faster going around details, though. I don't know. We're okay. We're doing all right. I'm just kind of scouring up, down, and all around anyway. So I guess another way to get into that where that moon was is by this checkpoint. But yeah, mm, up to you how you decide to go into it. Yeah, I just I'll grab this little coin stack there, and yes, I know I need air. I know, I know, I know, I'm gonna take a little damage here and there, unless I get some air. It's not that threatening. <laughs> uh, over here is another one of those sorts of cavey areas. Ah! This is my face in the wall. There's air up here, I do believe. Yes, that's why I didn't come up here with a fish, because I wanted to come up here with a wall kick. So there we go. There we go. Oh, jeez. You guys, I'm glad you got stopped by that coral table. I guess I'll head through there. Next? Sure, why not? Oh, jeez! Don't worry, there's actually something in one of these, I think. Yes, oh, well. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll be able to recover my air when I re-grab this. There we go, slip through the nesting spot. Voila! And now I can get out of here safely. He's just there to get unsuspecting adventurers looking for air. Oh, there's a fish. Hello. Oh, not close enough to home in. Oh, no! Oh, my aim is terrible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not really seeing the uh, table that contained the moon in it. Hmm. 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 Well, maybe I'll come across it eventually, but I'm sure there was like one of these little table structures. It doesn't even look like coral. I don't even know what I'd call it. An upside-down shell or something? But anyway, yeah, on one of those things, it's... We'll just say they're tables, just for the sake of consistency at this point. And take a look-see around there. 
Yeah, and we're looking for a uh, glowing spot, basically. Anyway, there's a whole lot of stuff still to see around these parts, so... It's just a matter of zigzagging my way through here until I find stuff. Purple coins, moons, you name it, I'll find it. Except, you know, you know, beyond the invisible wall that I cannot go any further that away. So sad. So sad. But that's okay, this place is beautiful enough in this area anyway, so... I don't mind hanging around here, especially since there isn't anything else to collect outside those boundaries anyway, but details, too. <laughs> Purples? Sure, why not? As I also see some purples up over here, but will that mess with my cleanup crew motions here? I don't know, I'll just go back the other way, I guess. Yeah, I'm just kind of going up, down, all around, just to see what I can find and remind myself of. Man, that's kind of brutal, Mario attacking those things. It's just, they shred! <laughs> Uh, anyway, should probably work my way back up to the hot spring now. Eh, oh, wait, where is the hot? Oh, I went too far. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. You can only do that half jump once. You cannot infinitely half jump all day and all night. Alas, alas. All right. So yeah, I went a little bit too far when I went underwater here, but I guess I'll start this by going up high and then down low, I suppose. Yeah, I, I totally forgot to grab these when I was up here before. I seen that before and I was like, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, well, you can't. Wow, really? They're that durable? Wow. Who knew? <laughs> Maybe there's a way to destroy them. Ah, uh, so good. I think you actually recover your health if you sit in the hot spring for a while, if I recall correctly. Unless I'm thinking of, like, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild or something like that. All clean and ready for customers, yes. Okay, give me- hit me really quick here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now I'll get myself back up there and see if I can recover one health by plopping in here. Just- just for the sake of curiosity here. Will I recover a little health, or is it like- or am I thinking of another game? Probably was Breath of the Wild that I'm thinking of, because you can indeed recover health like those Goron hot springs. Nope, looks like you do not recover any sort of health here. Alas, alas, it's too bad. Um, all right, let's go around the perimeter. I'll just, I'll just go like a spiral shell around the perimeter here. Maybe I'll even grab a, a gushin to boot. Can I just like hit these with my gushing? Sure I can, as long as I spew water at it. Alrighty. And oh there's another seed. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab that other seed that was at that that was at the far side. Back over to the uh uh resort. Ah, uh, poopers. Ah, uh, poopers. Well, I guess I'll do both seeds now. So wow, this is gonna take me a while. <laughs> Because I can't warp there, because I'll automatically lose my seed. And I'll, oh, I guess I can grab these along the way. Ah, uh, but yeah, I also cannot, like... Well, I guess I can ground pound. I was gonna say, I don't think I can do, like... Uh... Yeah, I can't do quick swimming. Because I'm, I've got the seed in my hands, which prevents me from doing those quick dashes. So that's out as well. So I guess I'll just hop my way over to the seed planter spot awkwardly until I get it there, and then I guess I'll grab a gushin' and <laughs> water it until it's happy. Uh, I, I really feel obligated to just cut ahead at this point, but at the same time, at the same time, I think you would miss out on my complaints at this point. By the way, this is the place I mentioned uh, when I was doing the quiz before, that you need the resort outfit to get inside. Yeah, you have to have have clothes that you can entirely relax in. I don't know, those underwear look pretty relaxing if you ask me. Oh! Man, my my cap throwing and throwing in general is just... Awful! Arceus awful! <laughs> Nunk! And... Aha! I just like... Get it fed with my water jet right here, right now, without refilling. Ah, oh, I cannot! So sad. So sad. 
Okay, there we go. And there we go. The last one I do believe, whoops, I do believe is ridiculously high, which is pretty funny. You'll see when I get to that last one. Sea Gardening Hot Spring Seed is a done. Now I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm in midair! Dang it! And I'm gonna go over to this one, because this is where, around the area that the last seed was. I forgot where it was at this point. <sighs> but I feel obligated to do that last seed. Just because I'm on the hunt for all the seeds. And I showed it before in the last part and completely forgot about it. Uh, it was somewhere near the surface-ish, though, so... It shouldn't be too far from here. And it's pretty hard to miss, because it's golden and shiny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! There was a moon below Purple Dory here. Shiny Dory version 2. Boop! There we go, Mercy Dory! And I think actually the seed was close around here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Ah, well, I'll keep looking. It was definitely underwater though, we know that. <laughs> was it actually in this lower area by Sphinx? Yeah, it was! Look at that, okay. So I went a bit too far, but at least you know... Yeah, we're over over here. The shop is always on the move, so don't use that as your landmark. And we gotta take this without any sort of fish power or anything like that back over to the resort. Come on, guys, let me out of the sea. That was a deep dive. There we go. Need to get myself recovered there, and then I can awkwardly jump out of the water my whole way through there. And I can't do fancy moves again, because I got the seed in my possession. <sighs> uh, uh. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Well, you made it to sort of dry land now. Alright. We've almost made it. <sighs> Yeah, and then we gotta feed it water. Oh no! This is just lengthening things for no good reason. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're nearby here. I'm not gonna grab a flower this time. I'll just grab a hold of your body. And up, see, doodle, we go. Now, this is a real, really big one if I recall correctly. So, water, 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 water. Keep watering that bad boy. See, it's, it's already larger than the other ones. And if you don't water it, you'd otherwise have to wait quite a long time for this thing to actually spawn a uh, little moony seedy thingy. So, here we go! It's still going! No! <laughs> this one's long enough as it is! You're just messing with me now! Okay, feed, feed, feed! Plants like water! There we go! <laughs> oh, 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 shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot! Can I actually get to that with my hat? Uh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hmm. Might actually need the gushing to get to that, or not. Let's see if I can actually triple jump that. Maybe I will actually need a gushing. Interesting. I mean, I could probably do it with some wall kick triple jump fancy shenanigans, but let's just do this. I guess you could say the technically probably expected way. Oh, no, no! Well. <laughs> We'll get there eventually. Alright, that'll work. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't pop when I was in the gushing anyway. Sea gardening, ocean trench seed, just so you get a nice good view of that. Now I guess I'll go back over to the ocean trench east and continue my exploration around the hot springs because I forgot about that seed! <laughs> so I got that moon above shiny purple dory and we're off. I guess I'll grab you really quick and whack those boxes. Yeah. I say, whack those boxes. Yeah, you gotta put your back over to the boxes in order to be able to whack them with that. Yeah. And I just mainly focus on this. Why am I getting stuck on stuff here? That I'm out of that gushing. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'm better off with the fish because I think I went and did a 360 around there anyway, like on the above water area anyway, so I think a cheap cheap is in order. So I'll grab the one that's around this corner here. I'll meet it halfway here. 
<laughs> hey there. I know you're coming around. I thought you were coming. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I know you're coming around, but I guess I swim even faster than your average fish. Uh, okay, going down the lower areas. We can go all the way around the hot springs. I thought there was a little alcove to actually peek in here. There it is. There it is. I actually have to be outside the... I guess that makes sense because hat and all, but I figured I could at least whack it open with something. Oh! This one. I remember this one. In a certain harder variety. Um, and it's a beast, but this is the easy variety, let's put it that way. So you got a ton of lava around here. We've got an uproot. I think I hear something. Yeah. I figured as much, because I don't think this is where any secret moons resided. So it's just simple enough to get yourself up this structure, you know, using the uproot and stuff like that. Except for the fact that uh, when you start going up, this lava starts rising. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Go, 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 go! Watch out, the lava is rising! Lava is hot, the floor is lava, we are gonna go... Ooh! And dodge the moon stakes to boot! Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> your legs are damaging to your whole body. Okay, if you lose an uproot, you can go get one there. Okay, we're good. And I want to get that secret moon, or I should say harder moon, up across over here, if at all possible, on my way up through the main path. Yo! Oh, yes. Good, 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 good. And good, good, good. Woo! Hurry and stretch. I'm out of here. But wait, you're gonna think, well that lava won't completely engulf the land, will it? Oh yes, it will. <laughs> yeah, up until this last portion here, so you really truly have to keep moving that whole way through if you want to make it. <laughs> Alright. Clear! And a convenient fish waiting for me. Though it's not so convenient if you're coming through there from the other side with a fish, because the fish turns out to be your obstacle then. <laughs> um, this was the place that I thought I had to attack the kombus to get a moon over here, I think. But yeah, just, I don't think, I don't think anything, oh, there, there oh, there it is! <laughs> Under a dangerous ceiling. So yeah, I thought if you attacked enough of them over there, you'd eventually come across one that, dang it, that, um, would give you a moon, unless that was just me hitting the floor with my spin attack or something like that. I don't know, but I definitely remember the moon being there, and I was right. It was not a post-game moon, just as I thought. Alright. Purples. Purple nurple. Let's go. Yeah. We're close to getting all the purples, actually. I wonder if, where the rest of them were. I forgot... I mean, I'm sure I'll find them as I keep exploring, but... Uh, dang it! <laughs> but I mean, like, that... I don't remember the last locations of them offhand. I got those earlier when I popped through here. By the way, you can interact with those plants by spinning at them. Sometimes I think it'll drop something, probably, but I, I don't recall ever getting anything from them, so... Uh, this was that hatch that I went down to get the moon shards, so I already cleared that out. Okay, uh, that's the end of land itself. The end of time. So stay within bounds. Okay, so I think this is good. So let's go through the middle area now and clear that out. Maybe that's where the remaining purple coins are. Who knows? All I know is I want to go after you guys, because you're tall, and you're fun to shred. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 aren't these the tables that contain the moon that I was looking for? Like this one? No! Not that one. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> well, maybe uh, I'm done clearing stuff out for now. It looks like that I've got all the layers covered. Unless I missed something at some other particular area. Although I wasn't in this watery area. At least not... Ah! Perspective. At least not that deeply, so... Maybe I'll take a quick sea run through here. And hit this. Probably coins. Yeah, that's not really coins, but... 
Eh, I guess I'll take it because I'm probably gonna end up running into more kombus as I go. <laughs> just, just how things seem to be rolling here. Hmm, yeah. Looks like this sucker is cleared out. And yeah, you can't just like infinitely spin with your fish. But that's not very practical because you can't move while you're spinning unless you've already got momentum. See that? Yeah. That's why I'm always trying to do just like one flicks to, to, to attack things as I go. I mean, I guess I just stand in place and wait for enemies to come towards me, but well, but well, ah, that's not my style. I'm, I'm always on the move. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I'm pretty well cleared out here then, I suppose. So I guess with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go on over to the next kingdom.